Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody, let's take a look again on euro currency. So performance on Friday was a bit tricky, so despite that we have correctly recognized the direction of the action, so it has started a bit earlier than we thought. It's actually we hope that it will be around 1 or 10. FIB level will be touched on some volatility of the payrolls report and then we will get the clear and by the trade. Actually, for example, on the gold market, it has happened normally, so directly from the 30% resistance level, and Brent Butter worked on the gold market perfect. Here we have few nuances. So we, we've got the direction, but we were wrong with the direct points where it has started. And this keeps overall picture on euro currency a bit tricky. Why? It's because this performance is actually could become the part of the double repo pattern. Because actually we have thrust down close above the 3 by 3 market hasn't reached the 30% level, close below. Now if we'll get low somewhere around it and close above, that might be the double ripple buy. Whether it will work or, or it will fail, this is a different story. But potentially it might be the bullish reversal pattern. And the problem with it is that actually fundamental background and overall environment on the market, it doesn't correspond to idea of the bullish reversal. On, on euro currency and so this is the tricky moment with its current performance but fortunately we do not need to decide all these problems in complex so we could just keep an eye on this precise levels to make the decision and just going with all the stuff step by step so in general if you take a look on the high time frames on the monthly and weekly uh, all this downside action that we have on euro currency is a huge may uh, downside performance and actually on the monthly chart you could see we have the bearish reversal month which is uh, well at least following the probability it suggests compounding two leg downside action so it means that if even we will get here the double repo and the pullback somewhere to the 110 1 or 850 area it doesn't mean that when we will not get downside continuation so just let's be careful and watch for the clear patterns trying to not uh, take the position in the points with the potential reversal. So on the fallout time from chart, you could see that, well, market keeps this kind of, uh, I don't know how to call it, let's call it as a kind of the hand and shoulders. So bullish reversal swing, downside action, some kind of the neckline and so on. So um, as you can see, downside action here is relatively strong. And that's the thing that I do not like with uh, this action. So if you take a look at the hourly chart, here what we have, it's relatively strong. Usually, and, and uh, you, when the bulls take control over the hand and shoulders pattern, it should happen on the second half. So, and this rally, it absolutely corresponds to this idea. And especially curious to get this kind of action after the strong upward performance. This is a bad sign. Another reason why I actually have some doubts on the bullish performance here is uh, performance on the gold market. The gold market already has broken through the 618 support and actually erasing the hand and shoulder shape. Uh, that's why we have to be really careful if you, if you would like to take the long position. Personally, to be honest, I think it would be better to wait when you're taking any long position considering, but of course it is not forbidden and if you would like to and you're sure you could deal with this kind of hand shoulder shape and watch for support areas around one or seven where theoretically market should turn up if everything starts works starts working so that's actually the only setup of the bulls that we have currently i really skeptic on this but who knows um, maybe we'll get some additional information next week it will support the euro currency and it could turn in opposite direction for the beers uh situation currently stands so that they need to get signs of the erasing of this bullish pattern and this will happen when the market drops below 1 or 690. 
if you get short position right around XOP that we have estimated, all the better. That's great. So you could move stops to the break even and just watch what will happen. For the others who would like to, to take the short position, um, this patient, potential patient, brings some risk and you need to, uh, to get clear signs that it will fail. This will happen only when the market breaks below this area. So in this case, we could start thinking, yes, maybe market should continue downside action. Uh, but if even everything will be great with this bearish pattern, and you take the short position here, be aware of the double repo buy that we have discussed. Because market could just retest the previous lows and turn up again. That's why once market will, when you will be able to uh, move stops to the break unit as soon as possible. So when the market starts flirting with the lows, protect your position because currently it's unclear whether the market just will break it down and keep going to the 105 target that we have or it still try, will try to form the bullish reversal pattern so that's two moments that uh, it's better to be aware of when you tends to trade your currency whatever direction you will choose